The 2-6 Washington football team hits the road in Week 10 off to Detroit to take on the 3-5 Lions, who aren't going to win too many games when Matthew Stafford plays like he did last week. Stafford threw two interceptions before his day came to an end, his inability to practice with the team most of last week showing through in his play. Another issue he had in their loss to the Vikings, no Kenny Galladay, and his importance can't be overstated. He's played in four full games so far, the Lions winning three of those four. Galladay is dealing with a hurt hip, and it's not clear if he'll be back for this one. And that could make things even tougher for Stafford, being Washington's pasty has been one of the stingiest in football. Fewest passing yards per game allowed in the NFL. How's that, Washington fans? And while that figure might be tied to the fact they've faced the second fewest attempts in the league, they've also held QBs to a sub-90 passer rating and a completion rate in the low 60s. Let it fly incomplete. Washington has not played the run quite as well, though. They allowed the Giants to hit them for 4.7 a pop last week. And while the Lions aren't usually a run-first team, maybe this week they should try it. DeAndre Swift went for 4.9 a carry last week, and the only other time he had double-digit carries in a game, he averaged over eight a run. So seems like there might be some untapped potential there. Look at him his way into the secondary. Washington also might be sitting on a sneaky good running back of its own, but he too needs more opportunities to prove himself. Gibson dives over the top. Antonio Gibson scored last week, but they only handed him the ball six times. But you'd have to think they'll feed him the rock more this week based on how the Lions played the run last week. Detroit let Dalvin Cook ring up over two bills against them rushing the ball, and while Cook is maybe the best pure running back in the game right now, the boys in Honolulu Blue have still allowed close to four and a half yards of carry on the season. Like a bullet break. Oh, he's gone. Against the pass, they faced just 20 Kirk Cousins pass attempts. He threw three of them for TDs, Detroit surrendering a gaudy 141.7 rating. Up next, Alex Smith, who took over mid-game last week and threw his first TD pass since coming back from that horrific injury he suffered in 2018. Smith finally was allowed to sit back and actually throw downfield, too. He racked up 325 yards on 10.2 yards per attempt. There was a downside, though, Smith also throwing three interceptions, the third ending a potential game-winning drive. But Washington's not dead yet, not in the NFC East anyway, and neither are the Lions for that matter. Who knows with the playoff picture being what it is. It's prediction time, so that means you put yours into the comment section, and that means we end this video by putting ours on the screen. The Super Bowl era. On second and short, a big hole in Texas. Smith along the producer, Ken Mack, first and ten, outside they go. Good catch by Jones, better move the dive, and a Detroit touchdown.